Ms. Freeman, speak was mesmerizing. I don't talk to students in terms of wearing trophies. I talk to them in terms of being the best that you can. He had the gift of oration, persuasion, and the ability to pass it on. Congresswoman Barbara Jordan, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. benefited from his instruction. 1949 when I came, 60s, the 70s, the 80s. Hallways lined with trophies won by TSU's debate team over decades guiding them to greatness, national and international titles. In the movie, The Great Debaters, inspired by Dr. Freeman's own story, he coached Denzel Washington for the role. Texas Southern University beat Harvard. And it was in 1956 with Dr. Jordan and Otis King. Though he had retired from the university, he never left campus. Dr. Freeman and TSU inseparable. He retained his office, visited every day except on Sundays. Watching the growth and development of students is an experience that is heartwarming. They come to you and they say, oh, I'm so nervous, I can't, I can't stand up. And when you sit down and watch them, not only stand up, but stand up against anything. He was also a minister at Mount Horam Baptist Church and the loving husband of Clarice Estelle Freeman. We spoke to them just last year. We have been married for 67 years. Going on 68. His has been a full life seeing history pass before his eyes, making history himself and shaping it through his words, his voice, his mind. On his 100th birthday, Melanie Lawson asked the question, what do you want your legacy to be? There is nothing that I want to leave. What I've done, I've done. Deborah Wrigley, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Next to 10